Hello, it's Michael, Michael Ratcliffe, and today we're going to talk about the pH measurement. So, DF Raw Bottle have been kind enough to send me one of the Pro pH kits. This is a, essentially, it's a very decent Pro which will last a long time, or so they claim. So, what, what do you need to calibrate it? You need your LCD, your Arduino Omega, your pH probe, and your analog kit. Wire it up like it's on the screen now. Um, you'll also need some pH buffer for calibration, so you need your 7 and your 4, pour them into the lids like you can see just there. Take your pH probe, place it in the pH 7 buffer like so, and reset your screen. So if you click, re if you just reboot your Arduino, you want to be powering this off a 12 volt power supply as well because the USB is a little bit noisy. So if you click reset, the boot up screen will tell you what what it is. It'll tell you how to use the screen, so up and down to navigate and select to calibrate. So let's, we're in pH buffer 7 and this is saying we're in 7.3, so obviously we need to calibrate it. So Press up, min and max values that it's ever seen, up time counter, calibrate pH, so hold select, is the pH in pro pH 7, yep, press right, select to save, 3.89. And then it'll tell you to adjust for pH 4. So take your probe out of the pH 7, shake it about, and place it in the pH 4 buffer. Give it a little shake to make sure there's no uh, bubbles. So if you see, it's not saying pH 4, it's quite a little bit off, so how you adjust that is you get the, the probe just here, and you adjust this little blue potentiometer until it says 4. There it says 4. Um, now all these values are saved in EEPROM, so if we reset the controller, and keep it in the pH 4, it should tell us it's still in pH 4 because it'll hold its calibration even when you power off. 3.99. That's because of the way we're storing an EEPROM, but it's pretty close if you see. Now, this, this setup, this probe, and this LCD is what we're going to be using in the next part where we automate the pH controller. This here is an auger for delivering pH power, it's a 3D printed one. I'll release the designs for this soon. It was me and Paolo of Aquaponics Lab that built this. It's still going through testing. As soon as it's finished testing, we'll upload the pH control code and the codes for that. Um, so keep watching. And